it was, it was pretty good. It felt good to be back into it, uh, not playing since last, uh, probably like December. It just felt good to see people in the stands and, you know, get that feel again for having a, you know, a live game. Just uh, obviously uh, one of the things you want to do for this game is make shots. And, I mean, uh, yeah. feel like you were in a pretty good rhythm today. Uh, yeah, I feel like I was in a pretty good rhythm. I took a couple bad ones, but, you know, that's just, I just got to get, you know, Remember what shots are good and what shots to take, you know, at the right times, wrong times. When you're on the floor in large part to shoot, is, is it hard to find that balance between a good one and a bad one? Because you want to be aggressive. Um, well, it's just it's just a little hard. It's not hard. I would just say it's just a mentality of mine. Like I, you know, if I feel like I'm open, I'm gonna shoot the shot. Or if I feel like I can make this, like I feel like I can make every shot I take. Um, but here, this team is so good. Like they don't need me to shoot every shot. Like coming from Seattle, I was. You know, relied on to make threes and shooting shots that maybe other people would take. But here, this team is so good that you know I'm, I'm here to take the open ones and, and rhythm shots. And so that's what I just have to learn and keep going with that. You guys were talking to Daniel about what these freshmen bring to the team. Do you think they all kind of showed this crowd this is the first time most of them, a lot of them got to see him play, and they showed them what they can bring to the team this year? I definitely think so. Uh, Bryson, very quick and strong, good defender, good offensive player. Kendall Stevens stretched the defense. He's he's long. Basil, <laughs> he dunked on me, but uh, he's pretty athletic and you know strong. Can play in the post, play in the perimeter. And I feel like those guys are, are very uh, competitive and will help our team a lot. Talk about that dunk. I mean, Terrell said that he saw as soon as he got it there that he was he thought he was going to take it hard. And did you see it developing that way? I mean, I saw it, but you know, I didn't think like normally, you know, a young guy versus an old guy, he might try to do a, a reverse leg or something like that. But knowing Basil, I should have known that he was going to try to tear the rim down. This, this special group seems to be pretty um, assertive, aggressive. Um, did they come in that way? Did you guys kind of push them that way? I think that once they seen that it wasn't going to be easy just to get in here and get playing time, they, they ramped up their, their level of play and it's, it's, it's paying off for them. They're, they're, very, they're a very aggressive group, and I feel like uh, each individual one of them is, is good at something and it's going to help our team a lot. How good do you think this guard group is from the I think it's very good, honestly. I think it's going to be one of the best in the country. Um, just having like me as a returner, I've played uh, three or four years in, in college basketball and, and been around a, a lot of different teams and coaches and, and seeing different teams and playing against different players. Uh, just seeing Ronnie and Bryson, how they attack and how they guard is, is, is a lot different. They're both very fast. It's, 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 a rare, it's a rarity when you have two fast, quick guards. Like You don't see that every day in college basketball. You got either one or the other. And we have two, and then we have myself, the shooter. I'm, I'm not the quickest in the world, but I'm not going my own. But I feel like we're, we're a pretty good uh, three-guard combo combination. Jeff, back to you. Can you talk a little about how you ended up at Um Well, I got I got a release from Seattle University uh, probably like December, maybe the beginning of December, and, um, or the end of December. And, you know, I, I was a little discouraged about what was going to happen in my senior year, and so I reached out. Purdue contacted me and I came on a visit. Me and my parents, we really enjoyed Coach Painter. And, you know, Coach Painter didn't sell me a dream. He, he told me it was reality. And I felt like that's, I mean, who wouldn't want to play for a coach that, you know, that's going to tell them the truth and, you know, make them better, a bad, better basketball player and a better play, person at the end of the day. And that's why I chose to come here. And so far, it's been you know, the same. What he told me is what, is what it's been. Sterling, what you've seen of, of Eric Peck and some other men. It seems like you have you have two fours who played very well today, but both kind of distinctly complement one another. Is that sort of what you're seeing from those two guys? Oh uh, yeah, Eric Peck is a, like I've said before, he's a he's an undersized like he's a he's a superman to me. He's he's like he can play in the post, he can play in the perimeter. People people underestimate his capability to dribble the basketball and handle it. Um, Basilan's super athletic, and they they complement each other to me because both of them can shoot a little bit. And one's more inside, Eric being more inside, Basil more stretch, but they both can they both can counteract each other. Sterling's pretty happy with the overall performance from both groups today. Uh, yeah, I feel like I c we can't be content with this. We got to keep continuing to get better as a team, and you know, learning from our mistakes, the little mistakes that we did make tonight, and you know, just get, just just keep continue to get better. I feel like there's always room for improvement and for myself and for this team, and that's what I want. At the end of the day. Uh, May comes or uh, 
March comes, we be in the tournament. That's, that's the end of the goal. That's my senior goal with myself and the first time. You've heard about the video a lot of that for contact on defense. Did they kind of give you a better idea of what exactly that means and how difficult it's going to be? Uh, the new rules to me, yeah, like, I don't know, they kind of make me feel a little ten like tentative. I don't want to get too close. I don't want to touch too much. But at the same time, if I foul out, I foul out. You know, I'm playing hard at the end of the day. So I just got to continue to remember just to play hard and, you know, try not to, you know, put two hands on or whatever the whatever the new rules are. Just I just got to continue to play hard. And, 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 you know, if I fell out, I fell out. You guys do. So you give you a scrimmage situation like this to help you adjust to those, kind of get a feel for how that's being called now? Uh, I feel I feel like, yeah, a little bit. Um, it's kind of hard because it's like, right, it, it just got put in. So it's like you got to, like, if you're, if you're practicing before, you're like, you know, hands, whatever. And now it's like the new rules. Everybody knows the new rules. So they're kind of like, ah, do I, do I put my hands out? Do I, do I let them drive by me because I don't want to get a foul call? But at the end of the day, we just got to continue to play hard. I know no basketball player wants to get dunked on, but <laughs> is it okay when it's a teammate? Uh, I would say so, <laughs> but it sucked that there was a crowd. <laughs> <laughs>